So you've just launched from a tower and you're trying to explore far into the distance. So you're gliding and diving and you only end up going like a hundred feet and you're really sad as you can still see the tower right behind you. Wouldn't it be cool if you could travel near triple the distance? Say instead of the screen marker, you can go all the way to this purple marker. Really get your fly on. Well, you can. The bird noise will be relevant later in the video. Hello then, my fellow Hyruleans, and welcome to my little guide to getting what is definitely in the running for the best armor set in the game, certainly the most useful as early as possible, and by that I mean literally as soon as you finish all of the mandatory tutorial stuff, and this will make your life so infinitely easier when it comes to just purely getting around. Hell, how does being immune to fall damage sound in a game filled with Sky Islands. Yeah. And along the way, we'll be learning how to get a load of zone out charge, how to get a huge supply of fairies, which basically make you invincible as they revive you from the dead, and loads of other goodies you're going to want in our journey to acquire this. The glide set, the mask, the tights, and the shirt. This will give you maximum level 3 skydive mobility up, and it really makes a huge difference, which we will test and get to towards the end. So, for this, we want to pay a visit to three particular Skyview Towers, the first of which being a Lindor Brow Skyview Tower to the west of Lookout Landing. This one isn't too tricky, really, or anything too complex going on. It's very much just a run up to it. However, there is a, a small pond surrounding it, and it's raised on a cliff in the center, so it will take a little bit of cracking if you've got base stamina. I uh, did it by simply creating a massive bridge from uh, the camp of building materials next to it, and that worked out pretty well for just letting me run up and job is a good end. So, once we've activated this and launched ourselves into the air, we're going to be gliding to somewhere very specific. Simply follow my glide path and you will eventually land pretty quickly on this island here. And then palm to the green and you will activate the challenge. What challenge? A skydiving challenge. Okay, real quick, is, is palm to the green, can I can I use that? Is that is that cool? Does that does that work? Like palm to the green! No? Okay. <laughs> this then is going to test your ability to fall with style as you pass through each green ring on the way down. Make sure to catch them. You can be as slow and as careful as possible. Pop your glider out. That is all comfortable. When you arrive in uh, the landing pool, a shrine will spawn, which will let you get a save point on this island. And then you want to go talk to the robot steward construct who will tell you about the bravery challenge of throwing yourself off a cliff, which as we all know is an incredibly brave thing to do. So, for the price of one bit of Zonai charge, he will send you back to the top, give you a time limit of 35 seconds, and down you pop once more. 35 is a large amount of time for this, so don't feel like you have to properly speed up your dive. You can do this quite leisurely. Hit each ring. If you're really going to miss one, do pop out your glider. It's better than having to do the whole thing again. And congratulations, you will be rewarded with uh, the armor that we seek. This one is the glide shirt and the easiest one to get. I would, however, recommend equipping the glide shirt and then doing this again with its added mobility, which will let you beat the 20 second timer to get rewarded with a large Zonai charge, as that is very useful to have a supply of and worth doing while you're here, save coming back again. After this, then, we want to go to our second lookout tower, this one to the north, and it is uh, Thip Flow Ruined Skyview Tower? Thip 
flow. This one, when we arrive, has a little bit of an issue going on with it. The issue being somebody's bloody gone and plugged the top of it. How rude. So, you need to get up there and move it somehow. The easiest way to do that is to hop on with your ascend to the lowest block. There's a couple rockets on it. Blast off up to the top, leap off, and land on the one that's causing issues. And pull out a bit of a capsuled Zonai device, like a fan, that will move it off. If you don't have one, then there is more around the area that you can get, more rockets that will do the trick too, and then once you have freed it, go talk to the confused bird, and he will fix it up for you, and off you go, blasting into the air. This time around then, we are aiming for a island much further away, so we can do a little bit of a checkpoint on this floating rock. From this floating rock, head to the island directly below you with the shrine to get the safe point, then we can throw ourselves off this part of this island and essentially, yeah, just mimic my glide path as we do. You do have, of course, the chest on now, so we will be able to get a little bit further, even with the one bar of stamina between alternating gliding and diving. And we aim for this pool here, and this is the location of Robot Challenger Bravery the Second. Because we didn't go through the rings to get to this one, he will have us go back up, activate the the green panel with your hand, and you have to do the initial just prove you can do it one, get to the bottom, and then ask him to take the real challenge. But, it's at this point I want to throw in a little bit of a bonus tip that's kind of unrelated, but worth knowing about while you're doing this. If it happens to be nighttime, and it might be worth deliberately doing at nighttime, all of the landing ponds on each of these Bravery Challenge islands are a magnet for fairies. I caught so many while doing it, you will see them flittering about the place. You want to get close-ish, then crouch down and just wait. They will eventually drift into grabbing range and uh, you will have a nice supply. These will revive you from the dead when you take a fatal blow with a good amount of hearts, which is obviously massively useful. And you really don't want to ignore this. Seriously. Hey, listen. Anyway, let's go talk to him again, and for the price of a zone I charge, we once again will be sent to the top, this time with the time limit. If you do it in under 25 seconds, which you will probably do, because it's much easier with the one piece of the armor already equipped, you will get not just the glide leggings, which we're here for, but also the bonus reward record holder of the large zone I charge. That's all well and good then. The third and final of the towers is a much more annoying trek way over to the east at the top of the very cold Mount Lenariu. So this, you're going to be running for a while. There's not much you can do about that. Of course, launch from the nearest uh, Skyview Tower each time. Glide and dive as far as you can get. Get the ones on the way. You might as well make it an economical trip. But once you do start approaching the mountain, there's not really a trick to this one. You just got to get to the tower. Though, that said, I will offer you one definite tip here is there is lots of falling Sky Island rocks around this mountain. So if you notice one near you, hop up to it and do your reverse through time, which will take you way high into the air, which will let you then leap off it and just glide nicely to the tower and avoid having to scale the mountain manually. Of course, some cold resistance food or armor is recommended here, but if you make it, you can just open the door and go in. No other trickery abound. Launching into the sky once more then, our objective this time around is also quite the distance, but thankfully the closest island to us, if you again follow my path here, land in the water, you can find yourself a pre-built kind of hovercraft fan aircraft. This can be launched off from this side of the island to get essentially almost the entire way to the final bravery challenge before running out of the bonus fuel. Once you do run out of that and your own charge, leap off and use your stamina gliding and diving to get the rest of the way. Once again, talk to the construct, he'll make you do the prove you can do it, pass up top, land down. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then it'll ask you to do the time trial and also unlock the shrine for you to get the save point here. The time trial again is probably going to be quite easy for you, sub 25 seconds, and when you land you will get the final piece, the glide mask, alongside another large Zonai charge. So that's all that, that's the set collected, and it really is effective. So again, this is how far you can glide without any of this armor on. It's not all that far from the tower, it's the green pin. But this is how far you can get when you do just a pure dive glide with the three pieces of armor on. It's like over double the distance, it really makes a massive, massive upgrade to your travel speed and time and is seriously worth having. Beyond that then, if you upgrade each of the pieces to level 2 to Great Fairy Fountain, which we will have a video on how to do and find etc very soon, then it gives you immunity to fall damage while wearing the set. Which again, is obviously very, very potent. So there you have it then guys, I hope you enjoy getting it, using it, and generally getting your bird on? Can I say that? Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.